Hello everybody and welcome back to the Band of Isaac. We are starting once again straight from the last episode. Unfortunate death there as Eve. Um, we could try do Eve again, I suppose. But let's try and do Kane um, Mega Satan. Kane Mega Satan sounds fun. We had a really good chance, uh, a pretty good run last time. Uh, but unfortunately... We were screwed by um, Cares the Blind Pumpkin Mask. I didn't know what it did. I used it, and unfortunately, it is genuinely probably one of the worst items I've ever used. Um, not in a terrible design way. I just mean in a way that, like, it kind of screws you. You've got to be really prepared for it, and you've got to, like, be ready to use it. I didn't know what I was doing with it, and I didn't know what how it was working. Therefore, was very ill-prepared, and it got me hurt. A whole hell of a lot. Not that you can avoid being hurt by it, but yeah. I should have taken other damage. Oh, this is really good. Uncertainty is really good. Taking damage changes our stats. We can we can abuse this to get really good stats and then drop it. Of course, it'll sometimes hit us and get put us on really bad stats, but we can we can try and get some good out of it. Um, there's a lot of uh, tinted rocks around. So I'm gonna try and to do a few more rooms to get some more bombs. So I would very much like that. I could go in there. One thing that is a little bit of a bummer here. We're going to be changing our stats. Our stats are already pretty good, so we probably don't want to be getting hit for a little while yet. Okay, just keys. We've got six keys on this floor. That's all, folks. Do you know what? Let's uh, let's go in here. Let's drop uncertainty first. That is... Yes, I'll take it. I'll take it. Very nice. Contract from below this early on is pretty good. But yes, uncertainty. So we're going to get bad stats every now and again when we get hit. But we're also going to get good stats. And we can pretty much swayed them into being incredible. Like, I'm okay with taking some damage down if we can get some fire rate up. Come on, Larry. What are you doing? Come on, Larry. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Larry's so annoying to fight. There you go. Cracker Jacks is pretty good. Uh, yep. No, no, we'll take Uncertainty. Uncertainty's better. Uncertainty, really, what I should be doing is bring it with me, dropping it at the start of the floor, and then rolling it in my own time, rather than getting hit by an enemy and having to deal with a room with bad stats. I'd rather do it on my own time and just, like, hurt myself on things. I need enough health to obviously make it work. We'll see what sort of stat upgrades we get throughout this floor and maybe come back to it. Hey, the double drop there. Helping us out. Nice. Take you out. But this is a very strong run so far. Very strong indeed. What you got for us? Double the soul heart. That definitely makes rolling uncertainty. Triple the soul heart. Makes uh, rolling uncertainty a little more plausible, which is nice. Certainly. Uh... I can't believe so many of them popped up out of the ground then and none of them had an angle to hit us. But most of these guys have been killing everyone. Got him. Gotta watch out for him. Yeah, the one thing we're lacking right now is fire rate. Fire rate's still good though. Nine's fine for, for starting out. If we can get fire rate up here though, that'd be great. It's gonna be the Bible though, isn't it? We've already had... Oh! Anti-grav tears... Probably not. Anti-grav tears are always a bit of a mess. They're not very good, to be honest. Okay, we've got everything there. Double bombs. Love it. Come on, bomb spider. Yes, the double kill. Didn't manage to take any rocks out with it, unfortunately. We haven't been to our item room yet, either. We should try and look for that. Oh, wait, we just went to our item room. Anti-grav tears, of course. I am the big dumb. Okay, this version of this guy is a piece of shit. He fires, he throws the fire bombs at you that deal contact damage. It's very annoying. Luckily, a lot of the time he'll jump into them himself. Try to keep shooting at him directly so you bounce them away when he does throw them at you, as you've been seeing or currently doing. I jumped up just before. Either way, he's pretty much dead here. There you go. We get dead cigarettes. We'll take that for now. And then we'll take 
Bloody stream, huge pillar brimstone. Yeah, let's do it. I do like this. Bloody stream is pretty good. Uh, do you know what? I was going to take uncertainty, but my stats are in such a good place right now. I just got a damage up. I'm absolutely fine to just carry on without it. We t I see no reason for us to take it right now. Item. Lovely. Uh, Celestial Berry. I like that. When we enter a room, we'll get a berry. If we pick up the berry before it disappears, we get a damage up for the current room. It's very nice. Right, come on, you. Nice. Good, good. Good, good, good. Easy kills. Easy kills. And we're charging up our brimstone thing. This bloody brimstone thing is so good. There you go. And we get flight as well for the rune. That's another big thing about it. We look so fucking, like, badass right now. Cigarette in the mouth, wings, eye patch. Just so you know, people, smoking isn't cool. I don't smoke and never have in my life, actually. I don't think it's very nice. We've got a bomb beggar here. I've never really got bomb beggars. They're kind of, they're kind of weird. Got a berry. I'm gonna always try to get the berry, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna lose HP for it if it's like a big room or something, because it, it does disappear pretty quick. We got, we got to speed towards it. Like, we probably won't make it this time. Oh, no, we did. Nice. Big kills. Got them all. And we can charge it up again straight away as well, which is lovely. Very, very good for clearing out rooms. It's a little... It's not quite as good as, like, something like Krampus's head for killing bosses, because it's a less direct beam. But it still does a lot of damage to big rooms. I love the noise when you pick up the berry. The berry is one of my favorite items. I really like it. I think it's really well designed. It's pretty cool. Ah! Okay, that was bad. That was real dumb. Big boy here almost got me. Give me another battery charge. We just keep using them. Ah, see, it disappeared. It got away from me. It got away from me. Unicorn stump, sadly. Uh, you know, unicorn horn even, not stump. But sadly, not something we want right now. A reroll room? I don't think we want a reroll room either, to be honest. Nice, get these keys. Yeah, I think a reroll room is probably pretty bad. Because... I, I don't know, I just, I don't see a use case in which a reroll room is going to help us that much. Because we've already got good stats and everything. We've been to pretty much everywhere apart from the item room, haven't we? Yep. We should have probably gone and got ourselves a, a Celestial Berry, not Celestial Berry, a charge, a active item charge before we did this, especially considering. But we've got flight, so it's okay. Well, like, flight makes this guy a little bit easier. One of, the, one of the hardest things about this guy isn't the, the bombs that he throws. They are hard, but it's the fact that he throws creep everywhere and you can't really move. He's just dumb. Him being in this room is the dumbest thing ever anyone's ever done in the history of ever. Right, that's, that's a bigger dumb thing, but I'm going to take it because I want guppy. I want this run to sparkle. Do you know what? I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I'm super dumb. I'm super dumb because we're doing Mega Satan and I've been taking Deal of the Devils. Um, and yeah, it's going to be very, very difficult for us to do a Deal of the Devil. Uh, sorry, a Mega Satan run if we don't get very specific items now. So we're going to have to go to all the shops and try and fish for those items. Most of them are in shops. Kind of forgot we didn't have flight as default there. Almost got me hit. Almost got me hit. This is a perfect room for this. Boom. Give me that berry. Give me that berry. Yeah, so we, we might we might be in a little little bit of a pickle here. A little bit of a pickle. Because I don't think we can get into a mega certain fight without dad's key or um 
or a get out of jail free card or Mr. Me seeks. There's definitely uh, some some problems there. Mr. Me is probably the easiest, most reliable way of getting in because you can find that in the shop. And it's multi-use as well, so if we miss once, it doesn't actually matter. And a get out of jail free card, of course, is random as all hell. And Dad's key, we had that last run, it's a item room. Lacrofi will take that, I like this item. It's pretty good. We're pretty low on health right now, though. That's, that's something that's a, a pretty major downside right now. Stop it. Get some help. So yeah, we'll go into that item room there. Uh, that Sorry, that shop there and just check. See if we've got any of the items we require. <clears throat> good, good. Right, let's jump in here. Nope, it's just this dude. Didn't quite get him with that, but there you go. He's dead. Ooh, we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to take one coin, get us up to 15. Let it suck everything else. That's a lot of stuff. It sucked there. A lot of money. So it should hopefully give us a decent amount of stuff. <clears throat> it gave us... Release the build up. And it gave us our dime back. I don't really know what this little soul boy is doing for us, but... It's doing something. Release the build up, it says. Don't know what that means. I genuinely don't know what that means. Okay. Double chest. Longer status effects. We don't really have any status effects, so that's not going to be useful for us. Don't really like this situation. Lots of shadow demons. This guy's the real one, I'm pretty sure. Got him. He was indeed the real one. Barry, I want it. I got it. It'd be nice, you know what would be really cool with the berry? Um, it has, it starts off with a lower damage upgrade, but every consecutive berry that you manage to get without losing one, you get a higher and higher damage upgrade, up to like a damage upgrade of like five. Um, but if you miss one, it resets the damage upgrade and you got to build it back up again. So it, it incentivizes getting it every room f for more reason just than getting the damage up and the flight. It'd be really cool to have it sort of a stacking a stacking effect. That'd be a really interesting way to maybe make the item a little more... It gives you a bit of a better payout for, for taking the time to go get it. Because obviously sometimes in rooms like this, it's very easy to get. But there's other rooms where it's quite significantly harder to get. And especially if there's enemies between you and it. Really? You blew up like literally every rock around apart from that? God darn. God darn. Ah, shooty, shooty boy. Ooh, little Eddie just, like, messed me up then. Little Eddie got me. Tell you what already, I can already say that I do not like this enemy that's jumping around this one here. He seems way too fast. Way, way, way too fast. He doesn't pop up for anywhere near long enough. So we're going to try and demolish him with this. Of course, I don't think it actually worked. Oh no, it did. It did. It did get him. Mr. Me, where are you? Right. So we're gonna be we're gonna be rolling for Mr. Me. Oh, we can't we can't re-roll in this room. God damn it! I think we'll be rolling for Jack. Shit. Oh no, we ain't gonna be rolling for nothing. Sad times. Right. Let's take out this boy. We're doing okay here. I feel like we're missing a certain je ne sais quoi, a certain something from our run that could make it a little better. Maybe, maybe just we're, we're sort of that our damage is sort of starting to fall off a little bit. Maybe it's just that. These guys are a real pain when they're uh, when they're champions. Hey guys, take too long to kill. Right. Oh my fucking god. Right. Interesting. <laughs> it's kind of a weird room. Damn it. He's got the little fires around him that have way too much health. And no black outline. They freak me out, guys. They freak me out. I'm telling you. It shouldn't be like this. Look at him. Oh, it's moving so strange. He needs a black outline. He don't make no sense without a black outline. 
Right. Take out you. Easy. Just make them fat. Fatten them up. I love the little faces on it. It's so cool. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Hey. Big damage. Coming right at ya. Still haven't found our item room yet. I'm really hoping it's this way so I don't have to backtrack. Because backtracking right now would be just dreadful. Just dreadful. We've come too far. Do you know what? This room's annoying enough. More than annoying enough to use that. Even though our boss is probably coming up pretty soon. How did we not get hit then? How are you not dead? Dude, how are you not dead? And how are we not getting hit by this guy? Come on now, boy. Please die. Thank you, thank you. Double the golden keys. What isn't better than double golden keys? Would be interesting if you got, like, more than one golden key on a floor and it gave you, like, a golden key for the next floor or something. Because it's like, it, it happens rarely enough that it kind of would be okay. Also, like, what happened to golden bombs? Like, golden bombs, I swear, at one point in the game were pretty regular. They were fairly common. And now you literally never, ever, ever see them. Like, where, what happened to the golden bombs? Golden keys seem so much more common. But golden bombs are so much more fun. You can actually use them for combat. Also, we're making this horribly long trek back. I was going to just say no and not do this, but I... I can't say no to a potentially good item, even though I know it's not going to be worth this walk. You just know it, don't you? You just know it's not going to be worth it. Could you stop spawning, boys? Thank you. Sissy, I mean, there's a reroll machine, so we can at least try and get something good. Bob's heart, fuck no. Dead Sea Scrolls. Come on now, game. Come on now, game. Okay, I am very happy with that. I don't know how these two interact, but... Ah, it seems they kind of don't. <laughs> so that's fun. Cricket's body is one of my favorite items. You all know it. If I get an item that multiplies the amount of things I'm firing in any game, I am well on board. Well on board, but eh, if these two aren't synergizing, I don't really know how to feel about it. They might not be as good as I'm hoping, but we'll carry on nonetheless. We push forward, even though this floor was excruciatingly long, and we got Sister Viz. It actually seems like it might be an anti-synergy, maybe. Seems like when it's hitting them, it's not working properly. I don't know. Maybe Lacrophy just isn't as good as I'm giving it credit for. Do you know what? We might actually die on this run, like, pretty early on. We've got really low health, and we are taking a lot of damage. Oh my god, I'm trying, I swear. We got ourselves a heart container, some damage. That's kind of nice. Guppy's paw, which I'll take. Do you know what? Yep, I'll do that too. Let's go. Okay. I traded in my red heart. Mega Satan seems like it's a little bit off the table on this run, not gonna lie. We have a nail now? Um, I'm not sure why we have nail tears now, but we do. Can anyone tell me why we have nail tears now? Petri did this, I think, maybe? I'm not really sure why. Why we have this now. I'm going to do this just because the enemies are annoying as hell. One shop item for free. I will take it. Thank you muchly. Hmm? Sorry guys, I'm back. Um, uh, You guys probably didn't even know I was gone, to be honest. I just clicked pause. Um, Right. I was just... Someone was asking me where... How long I'm going to be. But I don't know because we could die. Or we might not. But yes, I'm very confused as to why we got nail tears. Some, some, some powerful modder out there can explain it to me. I'm sure. Um, 
But yes, by the way, I want to say again, I've been saying it repeatedly pretty much, uh, but I want to thank the, uh, the modding community and a lot of the mod developers out there. Uh, I know that mod developers from pretty much all three of the mods that I play, Ipecac, um, Retribution, and... Um, the hell's the name of the last one? Retribution and... And... Damn it, I just looked it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, Deliverance, that's the one. Uh, but yes, um, all, all three developers have been in the comment section watching my content, hopefully enjoying it, and giving feedback on my comments on their mods and taking in the uh, suggestions that I've been giving. Parasitoity is really good. And it's 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 been, it's been really nice. I've been liking pe like seeing some of the changes I've wanted getting acknowledged and sometimes implemented it's been pretty cool very nice but yes uh we just got ourselves a very good item in parasitoid tears i think parasitoid is really really good do we have hive mind or was that last run that might have been last run thinking about it Ooh, free items right we need to roll for uh the items we actually want nun's habit no not really Nope. Nope. I will take that, however. As much as I need to roll for the items I actually need, I will take that. Okay, didn't get him. I just had to keep rolling just in case I did. Didn't get him. But, we did just get Hive Mind. So, do you know how I said, did we have Hive Mind? Well, now we do. Now we do. Ow. Don't hit me. That's rude. Pretty rude, don't you think? Pretty rude. This is definitely a room for this. 100%. Do not want to have to deal with that. High Priest, also good. Although I do think it's in the mum fight next, so it won't be super useful here. Need that flight. Parasitoid will hopefully doing, be doing a lot of our damage here. In fact, Parasitoid will now be doing a lot of our damage, regardless. Because it spawns spiders and flies relatively regularly. Both of which doing significant amounts of damage. But there's those big spiders coming in. And the thing is as well, they drop from the enemy's body. So they're immediately going to drop and then hit the enemy they, they came out of. Grab that real quick. But yeah, probably Mega Satan's probably off the cards, off the table now. Ow. We might wanna we might wanna throw in the towel on this run and just go for like boss rush and see what happens. Ow, especially with me getting hit this much. Holy hell. Not good. Not good at all. Doesn't matter which one we take. Oh, we missed boss rush, so it doesn't matter. Right, carry on. Unlikely this run's gonna make it past the womb. We just the, unless we get some really good health drops and don't get bad rooms, I I just I fail to see. And we are we're already getting bad rooms. Rooms like that are bad. Skinless boy, ow, he landed on top of me. Great stuff. Yeah, I have a feeling this 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 is over. Right here, right now. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. The spiders are here. The spiders are here. Do not fear. Skinless boy is, is is a bit too strong. He's a bit too strong. A bit too strong in my opinion. For a skinless boy. Just a skinless boy. Born and bit South Detroit. To be fair, there is a lot of skinless enemies, so he does make sense. I understand why he exists. Please don't hurt me. Thank you. Ah! The cyst! He's after me. Whoa, ah, oh, flibble sticks. We died straight away. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, yeah, either way, hope you guys did enjoy. Nonetheless, this was a pretty good run. Just didn't quite make it all the way. We have it some, some sort of here, there, meh, kind of meh runs recently. We'll build it back up though, do not worry. Uh, do not worry. But yeah, if, if, if people really want it, I'll go on like a bender of doing like all of the custom characters in a row just for the sake of trying to play them. I, I do apologize to the mod creators that I haven't touched your modded characters yet, but for those of you that don't know, this is probably, originally I was going to just use a 100% complete save file for Repentance, but as we get this save file more and more complete, I'm thinking we're just gonna use this one, so I've been desperately trying to unlock as much as
as we can. Uh, I realize we have some items that are really good that we still don't have unlocked, but I'm kind of okay with that fact. But yeah, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.